Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Today I'll show you some methods I'm using to earn money online in 2023. I hope you enjoy. Let's kick this off. Now, although there are probably tens of thousands of scam applications on the Google Play Store, there are actual applications that will earn you money by playing games. I think the big misconception here though is thanks to these advertisements that you see on your mobile phone, people expect to earn hundreds or thousands of dollars per day playing these games, but in reality, you're looking at earning between 50 cents to a dollar depending on your country because most people don't know these applications change depending on where you live. So here in Australia where I live, I can only earn about a dollar to two dollars per hour max on a good day by playing games. From my experience, you have two major ways of earning through games. You either have the pay per level aspect or you have the pay per minute aspect, aka rewarded playtime system. Two examples I have is that you have Cash em All, which generally pays on a per level basis in my country. And then you have Missed Play, which pays on a per minute system. Obviously, you'd want to go with a pay per minute system. It's much more easy in my opinion. But yes, it is possible to play games and actually earn cash online. I'll have a link in the description below of my most recent video covering a whole list of legitimate money making game applications. Next up, we have getting paid from surveys. Yes, everyone, you can complete surveys online to earn legitimate money. And in my opinion, this is probably one of my favorite methods out there because generally with a lot of these survey sites, at least the ones that I've covered, they will pay you within one to two days. And that's fantastic in my opinion. Now, again, depending on where you live, surveys are probably going to be the most temperamental and difficult ways to earn as well. Here in Australia, I can roughly earn between five and $10 a day quite easily using multiple survey sites. But the biggest problem that people have with surveys is that they get disqualified all the time. And trust me, I absolutely agree. Even I deal with disqualifications and screen outs on a regular basis, okay? But what I found out is that generally, depending on the platform that you're using, you might tend to find some are better than others when it comes to disqualifications and screening out. For instance, if I'm to use a survey application, let's just say like Atapol, I generally have a good time when completing surveys. Same thing either with life points and even survey time. But it is critical to understand that surveys are completely different based on where you live, your age, your gender, and multiple other factors as well, even including your job. But to me, at least, I feel like they're a great way to earn some extra revenue on the side. You're definitely not going to get rich off surveys either. Just keep that in mind. Next up is sharing your internet connection with applications and companies. If you didn't know, yes, you can actually share your network connection with certain money-making applications and platforms to generate real money. Now, this is probably one of the most slowest ways I've found that you can earn money passively, but it does actually work, everyone. And there are a few applications that I've covered on my channel before showcasing exactly how this works. For instance, we have one called Honeygain. Honeygain is probably one of the biggest passive money-making generators that I found on the internet. They allow you to share your internet connection with businesses and in return, they'll pay you with PayPal currency. The only downside to these passive earning bandwidth sharing applications is that you are technically opening up your internet connection to these companies and businesses. So you have to make sure the applications that you choose are actually legitimate or you're going to be wasting your time and potentially opening up security risks on your network. I do have to say though, the methods that I've tried have actually paid me without any issues, so I am happy with that. It's just they're so slow. You're literally looking at a few dollars a week on multiple of the passive earning applications that I've covered on my channel before. Whether it be Honeygain or Earn App, a lot of them generate quite slow, sadly. Of course, the more devices that you install these applications on, the more potential chance you have to possibly earn more throughout the week. Each application has their own different rules, and I'll include a link in the description of this video of some passive earning applications that I've actually been paid from. Now on the topic of passive earning applications, we have Sweatcoin and Winwalk. These applications will actually allow you to earn money just by exercising. All you need to do is have the applications installed on your mobile phone, and then every time you take a step, it counts towards generating a token on these applications. These tokens can then be converted into either real life money 
or real life items. Although to be fair, just like Honeygain, these passive little earning applications will take quite a long time for you guys to generate anything serious. For instance, on Windwalk, it could easily take up to three weeks to a month to cash out at least $10 worth of a gift card. And on Sweatcoin, their shop system is completely different where you use their tokens to generally get discounts on real life items. Now granted, this is assuming you're only walking to generate the tokens because Sweatcoin actually has a cryptocurrency side to it. And Windwalk also has a system that allows you to earn the tokens by completing surveys, playing games, and completing offers. At least that's the last time I had a look at it. But I just found these little earning methods quite interesting and that's why I thought I'd mention them. The next method is by selling your services on Fiverr and Upwork. You guys might not know it yet, but YouTubers generally have a team of people that help them build their channel. So if you're skilled in Photoshop, you have a good voice for voiceovers, you're a good editor, you're good at search engine optimization, you can type subtitles and captions, you can actually sell these skills on Fiverr and Upwork for creators like myself to purchase your services. Now granted, I personally don't have a team at the moment. I need to get one because I've been doing this solo pretty much the whole time, but I hope to build a team soon because doing it solo is starting to really wear me down. <laughs> but that's why it's so critical to start learning some of these skills that I mentioned. The great thing about selling your services is that you set the price. The only downside is it's very competitive. So you'd be going up against many, many other sellers out there. And that's why you'd have to make your store stand out from the others. I'll include two videos I've done about selling on Fiverr in the description below, by the way, everyone. But I plan on making many more videos on selling your services online later this year. Next, we have watching videos to earn money online. If you guys didn't know, sometimes when completing surveys online, you may be asked to actually review online advertisements or just advertisements in general to give your opinion on them. Once you've given your opinion on the video ad, you'll be then granted some money. Not only that though, you can actually watch videos on platforms such as Hideout TV to earn credits that then can be converted into gift cards or PayPal currency. Hideout TV will straight up pay you credits every time you see an advertisement on their website. And generally each video has multiple ads. You also have applications like Givey Videos that will pay you to watch YouTube videos from your phone. The only issue is when watching videos online is that the pay rates are very low in my opinion. And this is something you'd do if you really have some spare time or you want to watch a certain video but wanted to earn a little bit of money by doing so. You're really looking at only earning like a dollar or so per day on some of these platforms such as Givey Video. You may be able to earn a little bit more on platforms such as Hideout TV. You also have applications such as Media Rewards. Media Rewards is an application that will listen in to every Every time that you have an advertisement play or watch a YouTube video and you'll start to earn points. These points will eventually allow you to win a gift card, at least in my experience. Although to be honest, it took about three weeks for me to win a $10 gift card. But it is a legitimate way in my opinion to make some money by watching videos online. Another simple way to earn some money online is simply using offer walls. Now, offer walls are on a majority of these get pay to platforms and a majority of the money making applications that really do pay you. Offer walls grant you the access to actually earn cash by installing applications, playing games, signing up to survey sites or just signing up to platforms in general for straight up currency. Now, depending on the platform that you're using this offer wall through, that will determine the amount of currency you're going to get. This is something that's very critical to understand as well because each different earning platform that allows you to access offer walls will pay you a different amount of money to the other. So free cash will pay me different to let's say Y cents or swag bucks. Hopefully that makes sense. That's why it's so important to always shop around on offer walls to try and get the best deals. I, for instance, think that Free Cash has a very solid offer wall provider system, as well as even Ysense or PolPay. I'll have some links in the description below to point you towards some good offer wall providers, in my opinion. I hope this video helps someone out there. Thank you for watching. See you all tomorrow for another review.